Hi, welcome to another episode of I Can Alter X That with coaches Alex and John. I'm John. Today, we're going to cover Alter X Weekly Challenge number 222, where there's a whale, there's a way. Let's get started. Alright, so in this weekly challenge, we've got a pretty quick one for you. Where there's a whale, there's a way. So we've been given three sets of whale migration data. And our goal, so we've been given this thing, whale migration data. And it, for each whale ID, it gives us a day and a year and the number of kilometers that particular whale traveled on that day. We have a whale pods lookup table that says for each whale ID, what pod ID that whale belongs to. And finally, a whale species that links pod IDs with an actual species of whale. Our goal is to determine which pods traveled the most kilometers per whale on average for each year. So to do that, the first thing that I want to do is link up our whale species and whale pods data sets. Whale species has a pod ID and whale pods has a pod ID. So I'm just going to use a join tool right here. And we're going to join them on the pod ID. And we'll go ahead and deselect the right pod ID because we don't need two of them. Now when we do that, we're going to end up with this data set that has a whale ID and we can see in the whale migration data that we also have a whale ID. So I'm going to grab a second join tool and I'm going to link those two by whale ID and again I'm going to deselect the right whale ID. Just grab a browse tool, let's run this real quick and see what we get. So once this finishes running, we'll have a data set that joins all three and you can see that this join data set has the same number of records as the whale migration data, which is exactly what we want to have. So now we want to figure out the average number of kilometers traveled per whale in each pod for each year. So what we need to do first is summarize the data. And so we want to get you can see here in the output, we have whale species, pod ID, and year. So I'm going to group by whale species, pod ID, and year. We need to sum, because I can see in the output here, we have something called sum kilometers. So we need to sum up. Oh, you can see kilometers is a string. So let's go back to this join tool and turn it into a double. So we want to sum kilometers. And finally, we need to get the average number of kilometers traveled per whale in each pod. So what I'm going to do is go to whale ID and we'll do a count distinct. And so when you run this, we'll now have our summarized data set that will give us the total number of kilometers traveled per pod per year. And it counts the number of whales in that pod. So now the next thing we have to do is actually calculate the average number per whale. So that will simply be some kilometers divided by this distinct count. So I'll just call this average km. I'll rename things at the end. So sum divided by count. And one thing I noticed in the output, you see here that we have like 876.4, 0 0.75. This one doesn't have any decimals. The way to do that, we'll simply put a round function around this and we'll round it to the nearest one hundredths. And you'll see that when we run this, that in the cases where the nearest one hundredth is a whole number, we just don't get any decimals. So you can see right there, we rounded it in the correct way. So next thing that we need to do is grab a sort tool because here in the instructions, it says, then, find the pod with the highest average kilometers swam per whale per, for each species for each year. So we're going to use a sample tool to do that. But before we get to the sample tool, we need to sort the data. So I'm going to sort by whale species and year, both in ascending order, and then average kilometers in descending. <coughs> Pardon me. Then I'm going to grab a sample tool. 
We're going to do first n rows where n is 1, grouping by whale species and year. So when you run this again, We'll see that now we've gone down from 1 million records, down to 20,000 records, down to 36 records. And you can see, there we go, we have our beluga blue bowhead. And you can see, other than the names of the fields, everything is the same. So just to wrap this up. So we've got whales and podge and average KM per whale. And we'll run this, and that will give us our answer. Give it a moment, and there we go. So, pretty easy weekly challenge, but that's how I solved weekly challenge number 222. Thanks for watching. As always, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the Data Coach channel for more awesome lessons on Alteryx and all things data, analytics, and visualization. Follow Data Coach on Twitter at AskTessellation and follow me personally at jemery underscore dataviz. Thanks again.